Let's get right into it. Number 10. Alfred Nobel's Explosive Idea You know you've made an impact on the world when your name becomes synonymous with both peace and mass destruction. Alfred Nobel, the Swedish chemist, was just trying to create something useful dynamite. A safer alternative to unstable nitroglycerin, he thought. Instead, he handed humanity a neat little stick that said, Demolition, but make it portable. When a premature obituary called him the Merchant of Death, Nobel had that, wait, I'm not the villain moment. In an attempt to fix his legacy, he poured his fortune into the Nobel Prizes, including the Peace Prize. So, yes, the man who made blowing stuff up easier also became the global ambassador for not doing that. It's poetic, really inventing an explosive and then spending your afterlife handing out awards for people not exploding each other. Number 9. Marie Curie, the glowing overachiever. Marie Curie discovered radium and polonium, coined the term radioactivity, and became the first person ever to win two Nobel Prizes. She also, unintentionally, made radiation look way too glamorous. Back then, people thought radium was basically sparkly magic. They put it in toothpaste, face cream, and even paint for watches until, surprise, everyone started glowing, for the wrong reasons. Curie herself died from prolonged exposure. Her notebooks are still radioactive today, and she's now remembered as both a genius and the accidental founder of the lethal beauty trend. Basically, she made science shine literally. Number 8. Robert Oppenheimer, the reluctant god of destruction. Imagine inventing something so powerful it could vaporize a city and then realizing you actually did it. Robert Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb, wasn't trying to become a real-life supervillain. He was just trying to end a war. The Manhattan Project was science's biggest group project ever, and Oppenheimer was the guy who turned theoretical physics into the apocalypse. When the first bomb detonated, he quoted the Bhagavad Gita, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Which, to be fair, is not something you say after a successful bake sale. After Hiroshima and Nagasaki, he spent the rest of his life trying to stop nuclear proliferation, basically trying to put the genie back in the reactor. Oppenheimer's story is a reminder that sometimes, the smartest minds build the dumbest legacies. Number 7. Fritz Haber Feeding and Fighting the World Fritz Haber gave humanity one of its greatest gifts, and one of its darkest curses. On one hand, he invented a method to pull nitrogen from the air to create fertilizer, feeding billions. Without him, half the world's population today wouldn't exist. On the other hand, he used that same chemistry knowledge to pioneer chemical warfare during World War I, literally gassing people. His work helped create fertilizers and weapons of mass destruction. His wife, also a chemist, was so horrified she took her own life after his first gas attack was used. So yeah, Haber basically turned air into food and then into poison. That's one way to play both hero and villain in the same century. Number 6. Galileo Galilei. The guy who proved space wasn't about you. Before Galileo, everyone thought Earth was the main character. Then this guy builds a telescope, looks up and goes, Yeah, so, we're actually just another rock floating in space. Boom collective ego death. The church wasn't thrilled. They told him to shut up and look at the floor, but Galileo couldn't stop talking about moons orbiting Jupiter and planets doing cosmic laps around the Sunday. Eventually, he was tried for heresy and sentenced to house arrest basically the 17th century version of being cancelled. Still, his discoveries launched modern astronomy and humanity's lifelong identity crisis about being cosmically irrelevant. So thanks. Galileo, you made science cooler and everyone a little sadder. Number 5. Karl Marx, the philosopher who accidentally started revolutions. Marx was a thinker, not a fighter. He just wanted to point out that the economic system was kind of rigged. His writings were meant as an analysis, not an instruction manual. But people took the Communist Manifesto as step one, seize everything. Decades later, entire governments used his ideas to justify brutal regimes and mass purges. Marx himself never led a revolt he just theorized about fairness. Yet his name became shorthand for revolution, rebellion, and every failed utopia that followed. So, the man who dreamed of equality ended up inspiring dictatorships. Philosophy class has never been so terrifying. Number 4. Edwin Hubble, the man who made us feel tiny. Before Hubble came along, 
People thought the Milky Way was the universe. Cute, right? Then this guy points a telescope at the sky and goes, Uh, actually, there are billions of galaxies out there. Humanity collectively had an existential crisis. Thanks to Hubble, we learned the universe is expanding fast. Which is amazing, until you realize it means everything's drifting apart forever. His discovery gave us cosmic awe and cosmic despair. Suddenly, people weren't just worried about taxes, they were worried about the heat death of the universe. So yeah, Hubble expanded our understanding of reality and our anxiety. Thanks, man. Number 3. Nikola Tesla, the man who accidentally invented conspiracy theories. Tesla was a genius centuries ahead of his time. Wireless power, remote control, early radar, all him. But he also had one problem. Nobody else knew what the heck he was talking about. When he died, the U.S. government confiscated all his papers, fueling decades of Tesla invented death rays, and the government covered it up theories. Now, every YouTube rabbit hole about free energy or secret government weather control traces back to this one misunderstood guy who just wanted to make electricity cooler. His wild ideas inspired real science and a million fake documentaries with creepy music. Basically, Tesla didn't just spark innovation, he sparked Reddit. Number 2. Isaac Newton, the coin inventor who made counterfeiting worse. Everyone remembers Newton for gravity, apples, and wigs that looked like they had their own gravitational pull. But few know he also ran the Royal Mint, yes, that mint, where he tried to reform the British currency system. In his quest to make money tamper-proof, Newton created better coins, which just inspired smarter counterfeiters. He spent years chasing them down like a real-life Sherlock Holmes with math skills. His reforms stabilized the economy but also made forgery so lucrative that counterfeiters adapted faster than ever before. So, the man who discovered universal laws of motion also created an arms race between bankers and criminals. Basically, he invented Financial Newton's Third Law for every economic reform, there's an equal and opposite crime wave. Number 1. Charles Darwin. The theory that shook everything. Darwin didn't set out to ruin dinner conversations for the next two centuries, but he did. When On the Origin of Species dropped in 1859, it basically said, Hey, maybe we weren't handcrafted by a sky artisan, maybe we just... evolved. The world collectively lost its mind. Churches called him a heretic, scientists argued for decades, and your high school biology teacher still has to pretend the evolution debate is up for discussion. But here's the thing. Darwin's work didn't just reshape biology. It changed how humans saw themselves. Suddenly, we weren't divine beings. We were highly evolved apes with anxiety and Wi-Fi. Ironically, Darwin's idea of natural selection also inspired some of the worst pseudoscience ever eugenics, scientific racism, and a bunch of people who completely missed the point. All because one curious guy looked at finches and went, Huh. Weird beaks. So yeah... Darwin explained life and accidentally gave the world an existential crisis that still hasn't worn off.